Welcome back, everyone. It is time for Daybreak in 10 on Color 10. We are on the air with you for the next 10 minutes without commercials beginning right now. And first, let's head on over to meteorologist Elisa Rafa to check in with our forecast. Good morning, Elisa. Good morning, guys. We're starting out pleasant again. You've got cool temperatures, some dry humidity, and a very nice sunrise. Very pretty out there this morning. It's a sunny start, 59 degrees in Springfield with calm winds and dew points in the 50s. It's 59 degrees in Monette, 57 degrees in Branson, 62 in Ava, and you've got a pair of fives in Camdenton. With these dew points in the middle 50s, it just feels very pleasant out there this morning. It's a dry, crisp feeling greens on the muggy meter map. As a playground today, it's going to be gorgeous. You'll have temperatures a little bit warmer than yesterday in the middle and upper 80s, but uh, the humidity stays pretty low. So really nice to take the kiddos out to the playground. As you fire up the grill, that high gets to about 87 degrees and it stays pleasant as we head through the evening hours. So temperatures in the middle, middle and upper 80s today. Overnight lows dip into the lower 60s. And then by tomorrow, you're looking at temperatures in the middle and upper 80s again. We'll start to get a little bit closer to 90 degrees by Friday. Hot and sticky 90s return this weekend and then linger going into next week. Still looking at little to no rain chances all week. So if you're feeling some drought conditions on your farm or in your yard, those will continue. So the next three days packed with lots of sunshine and temperatures warming up. Lower 90s return by Saturday. It gets pretty hot and sticky. We keep temperatures in the lower 90s on Sunday and then going into next week as well. The overnight lows, right? We felt some pretty crisp and comfortable lows the last couple of nights. Will those start to go away? By the weekend into next week, you'll find those overnight lows in the upper 60s and closer to 70 degrees, turning a little bit muggier. Rain-wise, a quiet seven-day, lots of sunshine, staying pretty dry. You just have that heat starting to crank, especially this weekend. Joe, Jen. Thank you, Elisa. A Mansfield, Missouri teacher is hoping to show her students kindness still exists. Color 10's Nija McDonald met with a woman and joins us now live in studio to share more on this story. Nija, good morning. Yeah, Jen, well, good morning. I met with Misty Bird and she is taking that extra bond one step further with the crony family. Now, Bird teaches art at Wilder Elementary, which allows her to form these unique bonds. Now, she had Fisher Crony as a student for several years. She says when she found out his mom needed a new kidney, it was a no brainer. Crony was already in stage five renal failure and was scared she would miss out on her kids' lives. Now, Bird says the main reason she is telling the story now is to let her students know that we can all help, no matter how big or small. She says she didn't tell her family until she found out she was a match, but her first phone call was to the cronies. My son lit off fireworks in the yard when we found out that Misty was a match. All right, this is gonna happen and I'm not gonna have to wait years for it to happen. I don't regret the process whatsoever. I would do it again if I could. Um, I would encourage people to look into being a donor. There's over 100,000 people on the list and a lot don't make it. Doesn't even have to be someone you know, could be a complete stranger. You know, be a hero, try to save someone's life. Well, Bird encourages everyone to get out and do something nice for someone else. Now, for more information on becoming an organ donor, you can visit our website at ozarksfirst.com. In some news from around the region for you, a group of students at the University of Kansas have put together a petition to remove police officers from the campus. The group is made up of students, faculty, and professors currently reviewing KU public safety policies, practices, and so on. The university says this is the first step to reassuring KU's commitment to fight racism and discrimination. Students on the task force feel discussions are moving in the right direction now. We all feel really good and really confident about the way the KU sort of responded. And we think that, uh, like I said, it would be a really great opportunity for us to set an example in the Midwest. The task force is expected to complete their work and issue a report to the university in late October or November. One of the stars of the St. Louis based show Welcome to Sweet Pies has been charged in a murder for hire plot. James Timothy Norman, who goes by Tim, is the son of Robbie Montgomery, owner of Sweetie Pies. Norman is accused of conspiring to kill his nephew in 2016. Court records show that Norman took out a $450,000 life insurance policy on his nephew two years before he was shot to death. Norman is in custody in Mississippi, awaiting extradition to St. Louis. 
Making news around America, protesters setting fires in Portland as demonstrations continue for an 84th night. Police declared a riot Wednesday night as several demonstrators were seen banging on the doors of an immigration and customs enforcement building. After that, authorities warned if anyone vandalized or damaged it, they'd be subject to arrest. Protesters sprayed expletives on the walls of the buildings and prompted officers to march into the crowds. Police used pepper spray and shot tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse the people. News from around the world, Russia's opposition leader is in the hospital for what a spokeswoman is calling a suspected poisoning. Alexei Navalny was in his aircraft when he started not feeling well. He is now unconscious and in intensive care. His team believes some type of poison was mixed in his drink. South Korea's intelligence agency believes North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's sister is serving as the de facto second in command, but has not necessarily been designated as the successor to that position. Believed to be in her early 30s, Kim Yo-jong is the leader's only close relative with a public role in politics and recently put together a new campaign to pressure South Korea. More authority on economic and military police has also been delegated to several other senior officials, although at a lower level, possibly to reduce the strain on the sister as well as help Kim Jong-un avoid blame for any failures that may happen. In more local news, Drury University students are back in class today with plenty of changes on campus. Masks are required inside all buildings unless you're alone. Classroom chairs will be separated by six feet. All residence halls are single occupancy and dining is no longer self-serve. The university says the entire campus has increased cleaning and sanitation measures as well. Springfield Public Schools is celebrating the opening of its newest magnet school for fifth graders. It's happening at 545 tonight on South Florence Avenue. The school is a partnership between SPS and the Springfield Little Theater. The Missouri Job Center in Springfield is opening a north side location today. The office will be open Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. It will be located in the Fairbanks off of Broadway Avenue. And now here's a look at what's coming up after daybreak. Coming up, a historic night at the Democratic National Convention. We'll look ahead to tonight's acceptance speech by Joe Biden. Plus, teachers tell us what they really think about returning to class as part of our special series, School Matters. Coming up on CBS This Morning. That's right, Joe Biden will be giving that acceptance speech as the official nominee of the Democratic Party for the upcoming election. He'll be in his hometown, Wilmington, Delaware, giving that speech tonight. Big time trend happening for all the movie buffs out there and movie fans. AMC is opening back up today. This is uh, back open and selling tickets for 1920s prices, guys. Which is 25 cents? Is 15, that 15, 15 cents. cents. Even oh, cheaper, even, Jen. That is yeah. too expensive. <laughs> but that is only for today, right? And then for yeah. the rest of the weekend, it's still cheap. It's $5 mm -hmm. okay. for some yeah. classic movies. Nothing new. But right. there are some good ones on, on the list that you can watch. Yeah, of course. They'll be, sell, they'll be uh, you know, showing those old classic ones, but also big name movies from more recent years, too. That Black Panther, doing. I think, Black was Panther on that is list. One of them. Is a great movie. And yeah, mm -hmm. for Mm -hmm. new. So Greece it, is one of the classics that's on there. I don't know if right. that one is available in Springfield. Back to right. the Future Back to was the future on there well. too. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So, we have looked, you know, we missed the movies or anything, but <laughs> first thing I, we did was when we find out, it's like, okay, what, what are the movies? Well, we if you watch? live in Springfield, yeah, you got to watch out for AMC and Alamo opening back up soon. So yeah, it'll be very those nice. Yeah, are also reopening. But you can also get outside a little bit too, right? Because it's pretty nice, huh? Today, especially, you'll keep the humidity pretty low with temperatures in the middle and upper 80s. Starts to get hotter by tomorrow, and then you're hot and sticky this weekend, with temperatures back in the lower 90s. All right, everyone, that sounds good. We will take it. Enjoy the sunrise on this Thursday morning. Thanks for starting your day with us here on Daybreak.